Okay, well, let's go. So you guys been asking a lot to show my bar that we use to make cocktails. Well, usually stainless steel bars like this one are super expensive, but in this episode, I'll show it to you how we got it really cheap and what we did with it. Okay, we're almost here. Right now it's like 100 outside and this is my mask. This bar and restaurant supply store located just a few miles from my house. And you can find there all kind of glassware, bar tools, coffee machines, equipment, signs, and pretty much anything bar and restaurant related. Even this kind of silverware. <laughs> I used to work at that place. So good. This place is massive. You probably need like half of the day to walk around and check everything. The entire facility is more than eight acres. So you get the idea how big it is, right? Oh, and also this is where I got one of my freezers. <laughs> you seriously can get lost inside. And I found this like a secret room where they have a bunch of ice makers and also espresso machines. And this is where you shop for your coffee machine. <laughs> Pretty much all machines in that room are in exceptional condition, like this one. On this machine, you can practice latte art or any kind of art. I'm not 100% sure, but I believe before this happens to casino, they just go and buy everything in bulk from their restaurants, bars, and resell here later. Well, cool place. Hopefully you can find something similar in your area. But now let's go outside. I'll show it to you what we actually came here for. Oh, it's kind of bright right now, so this is where you can get a station. There are literally all kind of used stations, different sizes, different shapes, different conditions, and you can get it there for like as low as 20% from the original price. Ooh, that one's pretty slick. Look at this, look at the corners. Looks really nice. And that's the same. <laughs> But the great thing about all these cocktail stations is that they all stainless steel and after you fix it a little bit, polish, they're going to last pretty much lifetime. So let's go show you what we've done with it. Now we transfer it to my Las Vegas house where also studio and office located. Since it's not a real bar, we set it up a lot more simple way, but it's perfect to shoot videos and make small amount of cocktails. Sides we cover it with thin plywood and installed six feet countertop, connected water to portable pump. Also you can see that my setup is different from real bar as I keep my bar too on top and not afraid that they might accidentally disappear. In fact, I put a lot of things on bar top that shouldn't be there, such as smoker, Japanese ice press, beaters, but it's my house, so whatever. <laughs> I also keep my special jewelry. On the right side of my station, I keep all my knives, they're super sharp, and I use them for all kind of purposes to cut ice, fruits, citrus zest, etc. Here I also use extra containers so I can use different types of ice. I use regular and fine strainer for almost like every cocktail, so I keep them handy. Here is my jiggers. I don't use them much, but I prefer to keep them under the bar top. This beer drip tray and glass rinser, probably my favorite two things at this station. It's just so convenient to have it, even if I make some kind of mess, you guys don't get to see it because it's all in the tray. Oh yeah, and we obviously install them separately. This is perfect spot for my ice crusher and blender. On your left side, I have like a mini storage where I keep extra alcohol and tools that I don't use often. Now let's move to the back bar and I'll show it to you what's going on there. In the middle I have small refrigerator where I keep some cocktail essentials such as fruits, cherries, beers, sodas and things like that. Here we have a few different shelves of glassware since we're making all kind of cocktails for different occasions. This is our back bar, it's a three-tier bottle organizer shelf. I actually wanted to get LED, but it was a little bit pricey, so that's just a regular one. On the left side from back bar, we have a freezer where we keep all kind of ice and some glassware. Here I put my camera on tripod, turn on a light and start recording video for you guys. But of course to make quality cocktails at home you don't need a real bar station. I just wanted to show it to you guys how I got it and set it up on the budget so you can do it too. Well it would mean so much to me if you hit the like button and subscribe to this channel as well. Oh and of course if you're new here I hope you can check out main channel Vlog Slick Bartender. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.